Hey drummers, Gary Williams is back with another reaction and analysis video. Today we're going to be checking out Will Kennedy with the Yellow Jackets. This is a live performance. They're doing a really cool tune here. I just scoped out a little bit of it. So let's check out Will Kennedy. He's sitting in this thing called a drum frame. Bob Gatson designed it. Will was one of the only drummers that really got into playing it for a while. He doesn't use it anymore. Great open-handed player. Beautiful feel. Gets this great snap out of that snare drum. Russell Ferrante, Jimmy Haslip on bass. Love that kind of walking bass line with that kind of swing funk vibe. Chick, 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 left foot go in on the hi hat cut pull. the biome. Cool.
Wow. Love it. Doubles. Nice. There it is. Nice doubles. Some fives and sevens out earlier. Great sound. Yep. Tony stuff. Love it. Glam accents. Goals. Yes. Nice. Doubles on the base. Floors up. Two down. Sixes. Up. Two down. Yes. Cool stuff. This drum sounds so cool. Love this first shot. Oh, fantabulous. Oh, my goodness. Good heavens. That guy is such a beautiful drummer. His touch is awesome. I remember first seeing that guy um, on a modern drummer festival, I think. Just blew me away. I mean, he's kind of a smaller guy, and he plays open-handed, left hand on the hi-hat, and his ride cymbal up on the left side. Kind of a Carter Beaufort thing. I'm assuming he's left-handed. Uh, somebody was able to correct me in saying that Carter or Beaufort is actually right-handed, but he opted to play left I think similar to Simon Phillips, and actually it's kind of trendy for a lot of right-handed drummers to play more open-handed these days. It's certainly effective. I definitely went through the new breed and conversations with Enclave, and that was all vocal-oriented, open-handed, did all that crazy stuff. I still prefer to play right-handed. It feels just much more seasoned, and it's a better sound for me. Love this guy's playing. Love the sound of his drums. He always has this beautiful fat drum sound he's always been able to achieve and the rim shots just wonderful and just all the cool stuff he did very latin oriented kind of stuff you know yellow jackets being kind of very awesome jazz fusion type of group some of my favorite music is this blend of all these different styles so that you're not limited to playing in just swing or just funk or just latin and you didn't really get a chance to explore a lot of these things and i like kind of more of a contemporary approach where you're melding all these different things together. That fusion term is the fusing together of jazz, R&B, funk, Latin, and just about anything else you want to throw in there. So it has the uh, improvisational elements of jazz and the harmonies and so on, but it has the feel, grooves, and sounds from more R&B, funk, and rock. Electric guitars, electric keyboards, synthesizers, that kind of stuff. So. A beautiful mixture of all kinds of different world rhythms all put together so you can do these kinds of tunes that have all these different influences. So really like the Yellow Jackets. Will Kennedy, a fantabulous drummer, as I said. Just really like this playing. It'd be one of those things where if we were to get together, we could break down little elements of what he's doing. A lot of it was pretty recognizable. There were some really cool patterns. I think there's some fives. I love the, like the unison stuff with the toms and some kind of Tony Williams stuff and the splashy hi-hat, the chick, 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 chick. That was a Tony Williams thing when he started playing with his own fusion band, the Lifetime Band. That's where he started keeping the steady quarter notes on the hi-hat. <clears throat> and he went from a bebop kit, which was sort of standard, kind of 18-inch bass drum, 12 rack, 14th floor when he played with Miles, to big drums like Billy Cobham. And Will Kennedy is kind of in the middle. I think that's a 20-inch bass drum, 12 rack, 14, 16. But just a great touch, great sound. I've always enjoyed this guy's playing, so it was really nice to get the chance to hear him open up. He's more of a groove player with the band. 
obviously can improvise, uh, but uh, I really like his playing with the ensemble, especially well, although I very much enjoyed the solo. So I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Again, if you're interested in lessons, all that info is below. And I'll see you on the next reaction and analysis video. Until then, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.